Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County, more specifically the lakeside section of Henrico, and we are going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-full-bath home. This Cape Cod is priced very attractively. Uh, the county thinks it's worth about $135,000. It's on the market for $85,000. It does need a little bit of TLC, but nothing that is over the top. This home directly in front there is sold by my good friend Kevin Grandisi, a uh, fellow agent that uh, is really doing some great things here in Richmond. Let's go in and take a look. I like to come into these homes, give you an idea of exactly what's available in the marketplace. Uh, this home has only been on the market about four days and uh, it is only available to owner occupants or people that want to live in the home. Got a neat little ceiling fan there. You don't typically see that on a front porch. Okay, as we come in, we have beautiful wood floors. They just simply need to be refinished. Directly ahead, we have stairs going upstairs, wood burning fireplace, ceiling fan in this room, and we're going to go here to the right hand side. We have our full bath here. This is a tile bath, as you can see. Uh, we have a little bit of a moisture issue, uh, and as a result, the paint has peeled. So that simply is a result of this being a bathroom, but we do have nice tile surround here in this tub. And this tub would actually need to be refinished. It's got a little uh, discoloration there, but there are companies that'll make it look as good as new, as good as new. Uh, this is a downstairs bedroom. This is a pretty conservative bedroom. Once again, notice the wood floors. This home does have central heat and air. Got a small closet right there as well. Here to the left, We've got a linen closet directly ahead and our second bedroom here on the first floor. Uh, this bedroom is on the front corner of the home. We've got a replacement window directly ahead and uh, just a little bit of cosmetic uh, work needed here in the ceiling. Uh, I think the best use of this first level would be probably to open up those two bedrooms, make one large master and uh, make it a lot more functional for today's lifestyle. As we come in here to the kitchen, uh, there, ha there definitely has been some work done here uh, over time. We've got uh, some cabinetry there. I would probably wanna put a little additional counter space uh, there in this kitchen. The cabinets look fine. We've got a uh, missing door uh, there and it's a pretty open kitchen area. Directly ahead, we have our laundry area. A bifold door actually should go there and uh, sheetrock would finish that off and be the backing there for your appliances. Nice size pantry there for additional storage. And this room here on the back would be a great little office or a playroom or a study. Uh, it does have a closet, so it does qualify as a legitimate bedroom, but probably not the greatest location right off the kitchen unless you're the type that likes to get up in the middle of the night for a nice snack or nightcap. We've got an absolutely massive back deck here overlooking the backyard. This is really a uh, pretty private back here because we do have privacy fence all the way on that side. And then our storage building and the vegetation on that side gives you some good privacy. So we've got a nice size deck here. You could uh, definitely entertain the whole neighborhood on this deck, complete with its own little trap door with a padlock. That's not something you see every day. Please be sure to like my page on Facebook, Richmond Area Foreclosures. Uh, also, if you know someone that is looking in this price range or any other price range, please pass my name and contact information on to them. I'd be happy to help them. I hunt out the best deals in Central Virginia and bring them to you via video. Uh, there are many, many, many homes available that I'm not able to bring to you, but I'm definitely looking for them every day. And in many cases, the person that finds these deals the first is the one that gets the deal. So I am right on top of them every single day. Okay, upstairs, this area has a little bit of a challenge because it's a little low. And um, I was thinking that this would be great for in-law quarters. If you have in-law, uh, typically that's about four foot 11, maybe with bad knees, this would be a great place to kind of isolate them. They'd have their own little bathroom here. This is actually a full bath. Just needs a little cosmetics up here, but they would have 
a nice in-law quarters and uh, could help you keep your sanity downstairs. Okay, that's going to do it for this home. If you have any questions about this or any other home, Max Williams, 402 seven seven eight eight it can be reached on the web at richmondhouseinfo.com and on facebook it can be reached at richmond area foreclosures thanks so much for taking the tour have a great day